right now. How about we give a nice warm welcome to Harry Stein. What's that guy's name on? That was just a Sawyer. Dude, I'm 19 and you're fucking 40 years of me. <laughs> okay, I'm Harry. I uh, just went through a breakup, but it's not that bad because I get the, I get that one to two month window where I can blame all my problems on my ex and not go to therapy. It's like a vacation. Let's get this shit out of my way. I like to do this joke at work where whenever there's new people, I just come in looking stressed. I'm like, hey, Harry, what's up? And I go, uh, fuck, Chuck got in the shitty daycare. This is terrible. And they believe it, which, I mean, can you see me as a dad, like, fucking feeding an infant, dressed in a Black Sabbath t-shirt called Pino Poppers, being like, man, Larry David's a legend, man. <laughs> you better eat those jalapeno poppers. CPS is coming in, like, five minutes. Um, I need my coffee. I have to piss really bad, so I'm gonna make this really quick. Um, so, I found out recently that you're not supposed to shame teen parents, and, uh, no. Um, but they say stuff like, you don't know what these kids have to go through, and you're right, I don't, because I can take the five seconds to put a condom on. And, uh, like, thank you, person clapping. And it's not like there's a way out of... It's not like there's a way out of teen pregnancy. I mean, I'm not gonna say it because it's not fun either, but there's a way out. The problem is you have half the country just piss moaning. Oh, fuck. Did that line great. Um, really OJ trial that one. But uh, you have half the country bitch moaning, complaining, saying stuff like, if you look at this x-ray, you can see just one week after conception, the fetus has already moved into a new apartment and is cracking open a cold on the Oh, man. Maybe I'm just jealous. Like, like, if sex was bullets, I'm Neo in the goddamn Matrix, man. Was, <laughs> but uh, my mom still gives me sex ed. I'm 19. Let that sink in, because it will for me 20 years from now. I'm crying in a therapist's office. Like, uh, she was dropping me off in an apartment where I had a few of my friends, and she's like, "Don't get drunk and have sex." And I was like, "Wishful thinking, mom." <laughs> no. Um, Jesus Christ. But when I do actually ask for sex ed, it's stuff none of us want to remember afterwards. And I'm like, hey, mama, how do you get blood out of a t-shirt? And she's like, where did the blood come from? Uh, that really hit for like four people in this room. Uh, I'm not explaining that either. Uh, more coffee. I'm shaking. Holy shit. Because I'm just that, I'm built that way. <laughs> I do too. Um, what's your name? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm Bethany. Bethany. Um, do you ever have to save money on heating in the winter? Answer the question, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes or no. There's harder questions. Okay. Do you ever have to save money on heating in the winter? You. I guess not. Okay. Um, this has gone disastrously. Anyway, my dad likes to save money on heating in the winter. And, uh, he does it in a very interesting way. And, uh, well, it's like, well, if you were to walk into my dad's house right now in the summer, so about the one month out of the year, um, and you want to go upstairs, you can just walk up the stairs. Easy as that. But if you want to go up the stairs in the winter, you turn in the hall. He's laughing because it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> uh, you turn and you see a thing he built with his hands. The, a styrofoam thing duct taped together, held on with ribbon to a pin. This man burst me. I'm half him. I have to worry about this kind of shit. And like, if I, God help you if you have to get something up there, because if anyone other than him tries to touch it, it fucking explodes. It doesn't, there's no punchline, just dad, buy a door. I don't, I'll help you put it in. But, uh, my dad's a unique guy. I, uh, got up the other morning to go to work, and I just walked in the kitchen, and he's wearing a bathrobe, and I just, he looks at me and goes, wind it down. Wind it back up. Like, I had to buy a comf another blanket because like, I only have one comforter. And I was telling him where I was going and he's like, why would you buy a blanket? You already have one. 
Like my dad's just sleeping on a park bench covered in newspapers. Like, and we're, oh, take one, son. Recycling's Tuesday. What the fuck? Anyway, life doesn't have transitions, neither do I. Sometimes I have weird thoughts. Like, uh, was Hitler gay or why do people still smoke cigarettes? Like, uh, just keep going, just keep going. Um, the schizophrenia will pop up in like five years. But, uh, it's like, you have fucking 13 year olds sitting in class just fucking having the nicotine jitters of a 70 year old man. And they're in the bathroom like, Oh man, this jits, it's really on my ass today. <laughs> Dude, fucking fourth period till then, fucking. But, uh, gay Hitler, okay. Um, I was thinking about that a lot today, and I, I did some research. And by research, I mean I just dug around the internet until I found an article that agrees with me. And it said that not only Hitler was gay, he was part of a secret organization known as the Gay Stapo. And upon reading that, I shut my computer because I never want to see another word in the English language. I'm fucking done. Oh my god. And I know this is a weird thing to talk about, a gay Hitler, but uh, it's pride worth being an ally. <laughs>